What to do for a video? What to do for a video? What to do for a video? Hmm. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Today. My name is Joshua, and in this episode, I actually don't know what we're going to do. What are we doing? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I've been on YouTube not too long, but long enough to basically understand some stuff. No, I haven't made a big growth or anything, but I feel like I've made enough of a growth on YouTube to be able to explain the stuff that I use to make my videos. And I know I'm so sorry for taking a two-week break. I've just been trying to actually get some video out for you. And recording has been really slow because it's just there's nothing to record right now because fishing is slow Everything's been slow or everything's been busy slow whatever has going on again I apologize. That's all I can say about that. I will try my hardest to pump up content again I am NOT a pro or anyway I am basically just learning around the way and I thought I would teach somebody that's maybe a little brand new to this game some stuff that maybe you don't know. All you need is, I like to assess this, one, all you need is a phone. Don't start complicated. Grab your phone. You can look back at some of my videos that are super cringy. So sorry for those. You can look back at those. And a lot of them are actually just edited and recorded on my phone. This is actually recorded on my phone right now just because I one day actually show you all my gear so I didn't use my main camera right here. Decided not to use this thing. I actually probably should put the lens cover on. But decided not to use my main camera which is a Nikon Coolpix L820 which doesn't have a ton of video time but it's enough and it's clear video so it's good. And also if you guys are wondering what phone I have it is the Galaxy A10e and nothing special about it it's one of the it's the cheapest phone you can get in the samsung lineup the lineup of samsung so it's the samsung galaxy a10e i will try to link that down below start with you what you have your phone just record some video and start the second thing is i would like to say a couple of video editors that you can get for free i will link those names down below and so i'm gonna stop like talking as much as I know you guys are here to look at this. Now, I'm going to have some tips put throughout this, and we're going to try to change this up a little bit. So, yeah, let, let's get into this. So, first thing that I'm going to go over is basically my camera. It is Nikon Coolpix. Uh, Nikon Coolpix is kind of dirty, and I apologize for that. I just this video was kind of random, and it popped in my head. And I was like, oh, I can get some video out for y'all. But again, it's the Nikon Coolpix 20, L820. As you can see, you can pick this up for I think 180 or what I suggest is going onto your face local Facebook store and looking for cameras because that's where I've gotten all my GoPros, which I've gone through two GoPros now. I would highly suggest just checking out Facebook store if you guys are looking for picking up a cheaper camera when you're on a budget. Basically, what I use to edit a Dela Inspiron 15 3000 series. So, 15 stands for the 15.6 inch HD True Life display. It has a HD webcam, so you can do that streaming. It does have those capabilities if that's what you're interested in. It definitely has wireless and Bluetooth, meaning you can connect to your headphones like these. This is one I use, we'll get to those later. You can connect to headphones, you can connect to Wi-Fi, you don't have to have any plugins. It has an HDMI port, SD card reader, which is very important, and something else that's very helpful is a touch display. I think this one is around four, three to four hundred dollars, and it's an expensive thing. Like I said, YouTube cannot be cheap, and you can do it cheap, and you can make quality videos for cheap, but eventually you want to take that next step, like I did maybe, I don't know, or maybe you want to stay on your phone. I don't know, it's everybody's trial, everybody's game, whatever. I'm not super experienced again. This is just my, basically, overview of what I've learned in the past year. -ish. Editing software I use on that computer, which is the Dell Inspire on again, is the Filmora 9. And you can get that, I believe, for the unlimited plan, which basically means unlimited updates and gives you all the features. I believe you can get that for 50. Don't quote me on that. but I think you can get it for 50 forever and you'll get unlimited updates and stuff like that. I will try to link that down below if I can find it. Editing headphones now. 
these are cheap. I'm a big believer in cheap gear. These are just the Sony headphones you can get for like $10. You can find these at a lot of places, Walmart, stuff like that. Nothing, nothing super fancy. I don't use $200 headphones. I use cheap headphones that you go through them, you break them, you accidentally, stupid stuff happens. Buy cheaper, good quality headphones. That's my biggest suggestion. Basically, the best thing for buying anything online is to do your research, look it up, look at the reviews, and even if it's a cheaper product, just look at the reviews, because maybe it's a really good product. Like for instance, maybe this knife, just for fun, I want you guys to comment down below how much you think this knife is, just off topic, but anyways, I will reveal that at the end of this video. Comment that down below. Anyways, that knife has some really good reviews, even though it technically wasn't super, super expensive. No hints. You guys are gonna have to go comment down below and I will reveal that at random points in this video if I remember. And usually the wireless pair I use, which I prefer wireless, I work out with them, I do stuff like that, it's the Empow Flame. These things run like $17 and they're very, very good. It comes with a little carry pouch, uh, it comes with everything you need. And it's just super high quality and you can get these like cheap headphones and i don't mean cheap in the sense that they're made cheap i mean that in the sense of price they are very very good quality for a very very affordable price so there you are there's the empow flame and these are not completely wireless if you're wondering they are connected by a wire but they definitely have great bass and they definitely work for me if you guys are in the game for looking for cheap headphones for under like 20 bucks, I'd highly suggest these. I will link these down below again. Because I run basically two SD cards. I run a SanDisk because that's all I really use is SanDisk just because it's so... They're affordable, <laughs> but they have, I've never really had any errors with them and if you guys don't know and you guys are new sometimes SD card will ruin your footage and you'll get an entire day and then it will glitch out and your entire day of footage and recording and an awesome b-roll you worked on gone forever. I run the 32 gigabyte in my main camera which is an Econ Coolpix like I've already mentioned then I run the 64 gigabyte sand disk and in this GoPro Hero 4 this is a GoPro Hero 4 Black, and this is my main camera. I used to run a GoPro Hero 5 Black, and it ran me good. Didn't have great audio, didn't really like that, but it definitely worked. It had high quality video, and I was very impressed, and I think I got it for like 120 used off the Facebook store. Definitely against, just look at the Facebook store for anything you're really looking for. I'm not sponsored again by anything. I'm not sponsored. Just to let you guys know if you think this is a brand deal anyway. Nope, it's just a person that runs a fishing channel that happens to enjoy buying good gear for a affordable price. I'm not sponsored by any of this unless any brands are looking to sponsor anybody. And in that case, just hit me up. I run a GoPro Hero 4. This thing can shoot up to, I usually run this on 1080p 60 frames per second in super view and that's just basically super all good all around recording rate and really good all around. I only have 16 minutes to record so we're gonna make this quick. But this will shoot high quality video and has really, really good audio. And the battery life is the longest lasting out of any of the GoPros. The batteries that I use are these, I don't know exactly what brand these are, but you can get them off of Amazon for about 13-ish, 13 to 16 dollars. Don't quote me on that again. A lot of this is just, I'm trying to remember because it was from a little bit ago, but it was like a two batteries and a charger with cable for like, I think 13 dollars, I believe. I could be wrong again, but you just pop your little batteries in there it charges two batteries at a time so you can get them all charged up and then you can have my third GoPro brand battery and I put that in my GoPro Hero 4, plug that in and this will last me if I turn off the screen and have my settings how I like them at 1080p 60 frames per second. Super view, it usually will last me for about 8 to 
10 hours. You guys did make it to this point. Since you guys already commented, this is the knife that I already showed you, which this knife is will be definitely linked in the description. This knife runs uh, around 11 to $12. Also, yeah, if you didn't comment that, it's okay, just don't hint to anybody out. I wanna see how many, how close that some people can get. Yeah, anyways, this, this knife will be linked down below. Let's get into the, the tips, and basically I'm just gonna be going through these off the top of my head. I didn't write down any notes or anything. Let's see here, so the first tip I would have would be to basically just record and save a little bit of video even if you don't think you need to just save it a day or two because you'll find small spelling errors and things like that you don't think they'll happen but they will eventually happen and everybody makes mistakes just remember mistakes are the best thing you can do pump out as many videos as you possibly can and learn your video editor i even if you have a bad video i would suggest editing those videos because it just makes you better at editing and the faster you get with your editing software is basically number one the better you go with your editing software the faster you can produce videos the faster you can edit videos the better the quality your videos will be because you're bad, good with your editing software and if you save time and all that you basically have more time to record number one more time to edit and more time to post so in all it's actually helping you with getting more subscribers, if that makes sense. So again, even if you have bad footage, edit it and delete it does not matter. It's unless maybe sometimes I found, I thought I was gonna delete a video and then I ended up posting it just because I was like, man, this actually turned out. So that's just one tip is to basically get good with your editing software. It doesn't matter if you're going to delete the video or not. Tip. Two, I would say is always basically have enough memory to record. So if you go somewhere and you have one SD card and you're sitting there and I was experienced this when I first started when I had a GoPro Hero 4 and that's all I, or GoPro, sorry, I had this GoPro, the GoPro Hero 5 Black and this thing is, it's, it's a powerhouse, but it definitely burnt through SD card. I started with a 16 gigabyte SD card and that only lasted me a couple, it didn't last me very long. You didn't get a lot of footage out of that, but there is settings in there like loop mode and stuff like that, but you can find lots of videos out there for learning like that. If you guys want to see a kind of video and basically behind the editing process, make sure to comment that down below. Also, I would like to thank y'all, everybody that made it to this point because y'all are troopers and you guys really are the best because people that watch the video, you guys are awesome, but the people that actually make it all the way to this point, you guys are the true subscribers of, or maybe just the true watchers of Fishing Today. And so I thank you. Okay, well, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please go down below and hit that like button. And if you did not enjoy and this was not helpful, please go hit that dislike. So I know what you guys are interested in seeing. I'm sorry, again, I was not able to post as much as I usually do. It's just fishing's been real slow. I haven't really been able to get many catches on camera, but I will try my best to pump out as much video as I possibly can. So again, thank you for watching. God bless. Tight lines. See you next time.